Today's video it will be about a bunch of different things. We are going to separate the babies, the heterometrous species babies. I'm going to update you on those other scorpion babies. I'm going to update you on jungle nymph babies. And also we are going to install a light for cappuccino. You're going to get your own light cappuccino. That way I will be able to make a better videos of you. But of course, as you know, they are nocturnal animals and they don't really benefit from the light. I will only have it there and turn it on when I'm recording a video with him. It will not be turned on constantly. So I'm just going to put him there and we are starting with the video. The first thing that I want to cover, you know the heterometrous species babies. Currently they are all being kept inside of this plastic tub. You see I keep them communally. Here they all are and it should be 11 of them there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. Yeah, 11 of them. As you know, I had 20 plus. I gave away a bunch and I also traded a few for the Pizzoteria Regalis male that unfortunately, well, you have seen the last video, I guess. So currently they are living together without any issues and you see they are much darker than they used to be when I when I separated them from their mother. They were like whitish back then and now they are all much much darker you see. Even though I didn't have any single casualty for now I don't want to push my luck so here are the enclosures, the plastic cups and I'm going to separate them all. Soon they will probably start to molt and I just don't want to risk risk losing any of these cute little babies. The funny thing is I need 11 enclosures and I have 11 of these but for some reason I only found 10 lids and one of those lids it appears to not be compatible with these. You see it, it just doesn't fit as it should so that means I have 9 usable enclosures of this type which means that I need to use a different type which I personally hate but hey there's no other way than to use those. So let me just grab a substrate, let me put a substrate in each of these plastic cup and we will get down to business. I will try to get a good angle of everything but I'm not sure if that will be possible. Too many enclosures. Nine plus two of these. A substrate for every enclosure. And inside of every enclosure I will put a leaf or two, that way the scorplings will be able to hide under those leaves. At least that's the idea. Hopefully soon I will be able to trade more babies or sell them or I don't know because it will be a hassle to feed all of those. In these tubs they are not easy to open as, as my other tubs. But I don't have the ones that I prefer to use, I just don't have those. Unfortunately the store is no longer selling them and the ones that I have, you know the ones. I'm talking about these enclosures. The store is unfortunately no longer selling them, so I'm kind of screwed on that one. I really love them and I have a quite a collection of those enclosures, but unfortunately no more. What I have is all that I will ever have, but who knows, maybe in the future they will once again be selling those enclosures, but I don't have high hopes. Good thing that I have enough leaf litter. I would prefer to use a cork bark, small pieces of cork bark, but also I'm kind of low on those, so I cannot spare them. Now let's start with the babies. And I will just use my hand to take each individual, each individual baby and just put them inside of their enclosure like that, without too much hassle. Here comes the second one. It seems that they don't mind that. <laughs> At least not too much. And in the meantime I actually learned one thing. You know that I originally said to you that I just assumed that my wild caught female scorpion that she was already parried when she was caught but apparently... Come on get off my finger. Ah, there. There. But apparently just like the, the other scorpion that I have babies from, apparently they can also born babies without being parried, so practically they just clone themselves. Although I couldn't find like a 100% certain information on that. It is mostly just a speculation. See ya! <laughs> Enjoy the enclosure. But now in theory I will actually have a chance to prove or disprove this theory. Since now I have babies I will be able to raise them until they actually mature and I will not be breeding them. Therefore, if once again I get the babies, it will mean that that theory is correct. Although who knows how long it takes for these guys to mature. I have no idea, but I hope not too long. I sure hope that. 
You see, this is actually the well at Spider's enclosure, the shipping enclosure. Maybe I can also update you on that one. Yeah, we will also do that in this video. There is not much to update you on it, but I will also include it. Come on, get off my finger. Yeah, four left. One, two, three, yeah, four. My math is correct. Whoa, he almost fell. Hey, don't, don't pinch me. But it would be interesting to see if they can even pinch a human at this size. So far, neither of them tried, but I don't want to push my luck. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible with them. And the last one, you are the lucky winner. Let's get a closer look on him. Come on, get in focus. There. I'll actually zoom a bit. Now it looks much bigger. This will actually be a good thumbnail picture. I think that I will use this one. It looks so cool, right? <laughs> yeah, awesome. Enough of this. Goodbye, go under the leaf. You really like my finger, but that is not a place for a scorpion. Bye bye. So far I have been feeding them with lateralis roaches. Press them a bit so the roaches wouldn't, wouldn't be able to run too much. I would put like 10 or 15 of them inside of the enclosure and the next day, poof, all gone. They would just eat everything. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at the amount of springtails on the table. Does anybody need some springtails? I have a bunch of them here. Ah, this is a lost cause. <laughs> now, let me show you the updates. Let's actually go to the, the velvet spider. I have observed some really, really interesting behavior. I will try to show you if I can get a good angle on it, which it will definitely be difficult. You see it down there. And if I actually open the enclosure you see what it is doing if I disturb it a bit you see how it is oh come on don't don't do that camera please you see how it closed the entrance the spider actually grabs the surrounding web and just pulls it together and it closes the entrance at first I thought it's just a coincidence but I noticed that Every time I try to put a roach or something, if it's not hungry or anything, it will just close. <laughs> you see how it's closed now. So hilarious. Regarding other updates, I really cannot say you anything, anything else. It is not really feisty, so I haven't been able to record a feeding clip, a good feeding clip, because it usually just does that. It closes the web and it's just like that. But I also noticed that the webbing is really really sticky so if I put a roach there the roach basically cannot escape and I just put the roach leave it there and next day there is no longer a roach there so I assume it eats now regarding the jungle nymphs few more babies hatched and in total I think that I have five now but let's just count it together so you see there is one two three four and five yeah here's the here's the fifth anyone else no, that would be all. Check it out, hanging out on the leaf. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why are you shaking like that? Are you dancing? Is that actually your dance? <laughs> I think that when they are shaking like that, they are actually trying to imitate the shaking of the leaves. So that way the predator would of course think that they are just a, a branch or a leaf. Nothing more, nothing less. This one is the first baby that I showed you in one update video. You see that, oh, come on, let go. It is the biggest of them all, so that's how I assume that it is the oldest. And it actually molted once. Hello, hello. <laughs> Interesting interaction. <laughs> Cute babies. That's it regarding the jungle leaf babies. There is still plenty of unhatched eggs. Oops. There is still plenty of unhatched eggs and I just I just assume that it is a matter of time when the rest will hatch. So who knows with how many I will end up. Now the update on the on these scorpions. This is the the species name is Titius stigmurus. Yes, I remembered. Where are the babies? You see inside of the coral bark, here is one. So I assume the rest are under this one. Oh yes, they are all here. One, two, three, four. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, and they actually molted. You see, here is the molt. Nice. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, plus the one in the hole that's eight. So all of them are well. For first week or so, I was putting uh, dead roaches inside and they didn't eat them at all. So I kind of got worried that maybe there was something wrong with them or with how I set up everything. But fortunately they started to eat and you see some, they even molted. I didn't even know that. That is something new, which is excellent news. Now after all of these updates, let's deal with the cappuccino. I will take this camera and put it here. Although there is not really enough light here, but hopefully it will do. And let me just explain the situation. I mean, what I plan to do. I have this LED light and I want to attach it like here. Take this cable, drill a hole here and just plug it inside of the, the power switch here. And you see on the cable I have the switch so I can turn it on and off when I need it. As I said, it won't be on the entire time. So let's just jump into it. First, I will... Hey, cappuccino. There will be a bit of noise, but don't worry. Everything will be fine. I will just first make the hole. And the cable should just fit through like perfectly. Now to attach this light, I actually have uh, these small holders that you screw on top and then you just fit the light inside, you see? Easy. Hey, cappuccino. What is up? Let me just grab a different camera. Why are you starting like that? <laughs> Are you confused? Cappuccino. Hey. Cappuccino. Are you alright? <laughs> yeah, he is fine. This will be a bit tricky to do. Oh my god. A bit tricky to do, but hopefully I will manage. Doing things blind. Ah, there. Much better. Oh my This is much harder than I thought. I hate when... Ah, please! Stop! I need to change my tactic. I will make like a starter hole. It will be easier from there. Okay, hole number one. Hole number two. Yes! Let's see. Woo! And let there be light. <laughs> awesome, look. <laughs> Cappuccino, what do you say? Yeah, I know that it is really bright, but you can come out now. Cappuccino, there he is. Hey, you little nosy guy. What do you say about the light? <laughs> come on, do you like it or not? <laughs> Judging by the much better picture here, I will say that it was well worth it. <laughs> hey, little buddy. We have seeds over here. A lot of seeds, look. Look how many seeds! As you see I put a bunch of tubes for him to crawl and here are some that he can chew. If you're wondering where is his actual hide, he doesn't have one. But the thing that I noticed that some hamsters really like, you see behind here he got a private nest over there. I gave him a bunch of napkins and he just tore them apart and made a nest here. And it is actually quite dark behind the wheel. It is shaped like an igloo and he just grows inside. <laughs> Isn't that right? From my experience it works really really well and it seems that he enjoys it like that. Come here on my hand. <laughs> Little teddy bear. Oh, he's such a cuteness, I cannot believe. Let's finish the video cappuccino, okay? Okay. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Apple there. Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye-bye.